My name is C Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and this episode is likely to spark some debate because I'm going to be talking about two-way SLI versus quad SLI and clarifying those two SLI configurations and explaining to why quad SLI is bogus, useless, and not worth a cent of your money. So talking about the number and the true number of PCI Express lanes means you do not count the number of available connections physically attached to your main board, but rather go to a place like Intel Arc or the CPU specifications page of your favorite processor to figure out the number of available PCI Express lanes. For those who want to look for a shortcut, the current number, not including Skylake coming soon, is 16. For those who also want a simpler way of figuring this out, SLI from NVIDIA actually requires 8 lanes per card to be dedicated to the graphics card in order to enjoy SLI, which means if you're planning on an SLI system that is not Skylake, that has two graphics cards and a Wi-Fi card, that won't work. You're gonna to have to switch to USB for your Wi-Fi connectivity, otherwise you will not have SLI, end of story. So what is going on? There are boards that are clearly stating that they support quad SLI, and I just said it requires eight lanes per card, but the thing is, is quad SLI is not, and I repeat, is not four-way SLI at least not in the sense that you would think that it would be. It is technically two-way SLI with something very special added to each of those cards. So first of all, your standard GeForce card currently has three numbers in it. The first one being like generational, forget about it. The last two digits are what you're actually looking at. So not including cards that have TI or Titan attached to it, we're looking at numbers that span from 10 all the way up to 90. 10 to 80 ending cards are single GPU configurations, which means each of those PCBs, printed circuit boards, which are multi-layered by the way, only have one graphics processing unit connected to the VRAM. Whereas a 90 ending card, like the GTX G4 690, actually has two GPU processing units sharing their virtual memory, allowing for a virtualized fake SLI configuration, I'm gonna say, that is supported by game developers and application uh, developers at the same time. So depending on your applications and your games. This is where it's going to get tricky because you have to remember that game developers are the ones who have to make the SLI and Crossfire profiles for you to be able to use your SLI and Crossfire to begin with. So first, you need them to support your GTX 690, which was the last consumer buyable card that you can actually still get that has a dual GPU configuration. Then in order to get a quad SLI, you have to connect two of these to your motherboard with an SLI bridge and hope to whoever you want that the game developer also supports that at the same time. And here's the catch 22. Those two cards are $1,245. If you were to go right now and get the latest card that matches that so-called performance, and this is rough estimation, by the way, you go to gpuboss.com and you look up cards such as the GTX 680, uh, 780, excuse me, which is a $649 card, which is, by the way, almost the same idea as the GTX 980. But, and here's the but, if you were to just go out and get a GTX 970, which gives you almost the same performance as the 780 did, you would be spending one third the price for a single GPU card that clearly busts a 690 out of the water with less power required from your pro uh, power supply as well as emitting less heat than the 690 did and having fewer problems and having fewer problems getting game developers to support your graphics cards to begin with. So, two-way SLI includes both single and dual GPU cards. Quad SLI is dual or two-way SLI configuration, not four. Is it worth the extra money? Only if you want to look stupid to anybody who knows anything about graphics cards. 
Do not spend your money on two 690s when two 970s and SLI will give you, first, a lot better support from game developers, especially on newer games, and also have fewer problems with temperature and require a lower, I repeat, lower wattage from your power supply unit. I am running two GTX Strix Edition graphics cards in SLI on an Corsair RM750. Don't need anything else than that. So for those who are interested in building their own SLI in their computer, keep in mind, don't bother with quad SLI, go two-way SLI, get GTX 970s or better based on your budget and get yourself an appropriate power supply. And you can actually look this up on pcpartpicker.com to see what the wattage would be required to build your computer. So thank you for watching this show. Don't forget to subscribe. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, and even suggestions for topics, you can email me at ask at tikiwayweekly.com. Head over to tikiwayweekly.com where you can do a whole bunch of stuff and even go to the support us section to find my Patreon. And of course, that'll be in the show notes down below if you're watching on YouTube as well as the show notes on my website as well. Have a great day and goodbye.